hello this is probably one of my most requested videos and that is how do you make your BMW windows roll up with the key so by default well by factory you can't do this but the car is capable as you probably all know that you can hold the unlock button and it rolls down all the windows but it won't roll the windows back up especially here in the US it won't do that in this video I'm actually going to show you how to make your BMW E46 windows roll up with the key fob. Uh, to start, you're going to need a tool called BMW Scanner, and you're also going to need the actual OBD2 interface, and I will have a link to, to that in the description, and it should include the scanner and the software. And here's the software right here. So I'm going to first show you how to install it, and then I'm going to show you how to actually code the car to roll up the windows with the key and some some other things that you can actually do that are pretty cool. So to start off, you should have two folders. It might not look some, exactly like this, but you should open it up and you should see this that says BMW Scanner 1.40. And then it might have a folder in here that says this, just click on it. And here's the actual install, the installer. And it says BMW Scanner V1.4 install. So click on that. Click next, next, next. I'm creating a desktop shortcut. You can do that, but you don't have to. Next, and because I've already installed it, I have this, but you shouldn't have this at all. So I'm just gonna click overwrite all. So I should mention that I'm using Windows XP. It doesn't have to be Windows XP. I've heard it only needs to be any system with a 32 gigabyte, uh, 32 bit. So you can use Windows 7, probably Windows 10, but I know it works with Windows XP the best, so that's why I'm using that. So now that's installed, you should get a desktop icon right here that says BMW Scanner. You can launch it and then just click continue and you'll say you'll see please install adapter drivers. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So the first thing you can click OK and then you can close this out is you are gonna connect your actual BMW scanner tool to a USB port. Make sure the other end is plugged into the scanner and you other and the end after that is the USB is plugged into the computer. So once it's plugged into the computer, I'm actually using a virtual machine on Mac, so this pops up. If you're using a virtual machine as well, just click connect to Windows. If not, you won't see that and you will just have this window pop up. So at this when this pops up, just click no not this time, next, and then you're gonna click install from a list or specific location advance. And then right here, make sure search for the best driver in these locations and include this location in the search. And then you're going to browse for it. So as you can see right here, here are my BMW scanner drivers. You should have a folder with them in it. It's right here. Here are all the drivers. Just point it to it. So just go browse. Mine's on my desktop. You can put yours on your desktop. Browse and look for that folder. And as I can see, BMW scanner drivers, and it says BMW scanners drivers right there. Just click OK. Down here, click Next and should install and then finish. And then we're just gonna verify that it was actually installed. So if you go if you go start, right click on my computer, properties, hardware, device manager, scroll down to universal serial bus controllers, and you can see right here it says BMW scanner. Just click properties and you can see this is the BMW scanner right here and this is the manufacturer of the drivers and I'll also have a link to the drivers if, you're, if yours didn't come with the correct drivers I'll have a link to the drivers that I've used in this tutorial and I know work so after that you can just click OK exit exit and now when you launch BMW scanner you should get hardware is not ready if you get something else that like it says hardware is not is like faulty or anything like that just run this you should have this included if not, I will try to put a link for it, and it just says hardware faulty BMW scanner, and run that if you're if it's saying anything about your hardware being faulty. But if it just says just says hardware is not ready, all that means is you didn't plug the OBD2 tool is not plugged into the car like I have here. And I'll be back once I have it plugged into the car, and I'll show you how to actually scan for errors and code your car to roll up the windows, and along with some other cool things. So once you're in your car, 
you want to grab your BMW scanner and you want to locate the OBD2 port. And in this car, there's this little flap, the E46, there's this flap. Pull it down and take the scanner and it goes in this way. So make sure the label is facing towards the out of the, the, the door. So it goes in just like... Actually, make sure the label is facing inwards and make sure you see the light right there as you can see there's a little green light and now you want to take your USB end plug the USB end into the side of the computer and this message might pop up just press connect to Windows and now what you want are gonna want to do is take your key and turn it into position two, so that's one, up, oh, sorry, skipped right by it. That's one, two, without the ignition, and make sure your cluster started up. And I will be back on here with what to do. So now that you have your car to position two, and you can see the gauge cluster with some lights, it should have your miles, it should say this is no seatbelt, battery, oil, and service soon. You can and make obviously make sure that the OBD2 is plugged into the car. You see the green light and that the other end is connected into your USB, and you can launch BMW scanner. And right here it should say switch ignition to on and press continue. We already did that, so you're gonna press continue. And now it's gonna say please wait. And now, right here, you'll see some information about your car. You can see I have an E46 330Ci Coupe. You can see the miles. You can see that it's a manual. You can see some upholstery stuff and every, all the options that are for the car. You can just click Close. And right now, I'm going to show you first how to just scan the car. So let's say I'm scanning the modules. I'm not going to scan all the modules, but I'll scan some of the modules and show you what you can do. So I just scanned the DME, which is the Digital Motor Electronics. And you can see I have 11... Uh, 11 errors, let me wait for some other ones to scan. This takes a while to scan, but it, you can let this run through if you wanna see all your errors and clear them, but let's just let it run through a couple. So I'm gonna stop it right there. So I'm gonna actually read my, um, I'm gonna read my DME, which is my digital motor electronics. So if you just click right where it says this middle box, double click on it. And if you go under errors, see that I have 11 errors. And you can see all the errors I have. But actually, all these errors are not currently present. They were errors that I had in the past, and I ended up fixing them. So you can see um, tank ventil ventilation is faulty. I had that fixed. You can see um, the electric fan had an error. You can see all these but these are actually these codes right here where it says um, it says FA 250 this is actually the BMW code and right here you can actually just click clear all the codes if you want and you won't have any and you can do this for every single module if you want but I'm not going to do that what we're interested in is actually coding but that's just how to read modules you can do that for even your airbags those pesky airbag codes that you get from uh, taking out the seat without undoing the battery you can go up here click on them you can read the errors, you can see all your airbag errors, and I'll show you right now. You can see these are my airbags, and I can actually, um, again, they're just, they're not currently present. You don't really need to clear them if you don't want to when they're not currently present, but if you want to get rid of the light, and you have one that says currently present, that's faulty, you can clear those, but I'm not going to bother, I don't need to clear them. So let's get to coding. So to code this car, so if you want to code the lights, let's say you just installed LEDs and you have some um, lights on your dash saying the bulb's out. I'll show you how to code that. So if you go under LCM, which is light check module, double click the middle bar. And then you're going to go, this window should pop up. You're going to click coding data, light coding, and just please wait. And then right here, you're going to shut off the cold check. So that's actually checking the resistance for the bulb so if the resistance is um, too low let's say it's an LED and it's really really low it will trigger 
your dash to come on and saying that the light's out when it's really not just because of the resistance. So right now, if I check right actually now I have it, the license plate lights unchecked because they are LEDs. So if I was to check that, it would tell me I have a license plate bulb out when I really don't. So I, I like that off for that. But for some of the other ones, like my um, high beams, I obviously want to know if they're off. My brake lights, I definitely want to know if they're off. But again, like some of these are LEDs, so I have them off. But the next thing, really cool thing you can do is you can do the European daytime running light, um, the DLR for Europe for what they have in Europe, and it's just it's a different look than what we have in the U.S. I actually have mine off right now because I don't like the orange on at all because I have orange lights in the front, but I will be changing that. So the next cool thing you can do is if you have I, this car didn't come with xenons. I retrofitted xenons into the car. I installed them myself. So I actually had to code the car to tell it had xenons so it didn't have a light saying the lights were out all the time. So what I did is I checked the vertical, the headlight vertical, aim control, automatic, dynamic, which you probably already have automatic on. But I, for xenons, I did xenon test by xenon, which they are. And then I clicked xenon with automatic HVAC. So if you make, if you change any of the options, like if you, click that you can just click right but I didn't do any I didn't do anything so I'm not gonna write it so now what you're really interested in you can click eggs right here what you're really interested in is probably coding your windows to roll up with the key so when I first got my car mine didn't do any of that and that was because the actual lock on the door was broken so it wouldn't even roll down with the key so if you're if you code yours and your still isn't working the up or down it's probably that your the lock the actual mechanical lock in the door is broken. It's a very easy fix, and that usually fixes it all. So if you click ZKE, Central Body Electronics, click Coding Data, click Recoding, and if you come right down here, you will see the options for Opening with Remote, which is probably already checked, and Locking with Remote. Locking with Remote will allow them to open with locking with the remote will allow the um, windows to roll up with the key there's also some other options if you want it to open without the rear windows if you want when you click the unlock button it won't have the when you click the unlock button to roll the windows down it won't have the rear windows roll down or in this case like flap open on the e46 or when you're rolling it up it won't roll up the rear windows if you want same thing with the sunroof if you just want the windows to roll down with the key not the sunroof you can do that or if you want the windows to just roll up without the sunroof you can do that too so that's pretty much how to do it so if you just click it so I'll check this just to show you Actually, I'll unclick this click it and I will write it and you will see it says please wait coding data coding data write okay so that means it's all set but I'm gonna show you some the last other things that you can code so the other things you can code is, this car didn't have an alarm either, and I coded the alarm. So if you're going to install an alarm, you have to code it. So after you install the alarm, you want to click, check DWA, DWA interior sensor, DWA in tilt alarm sensor. Make, this should already be checked. Make sure all of these are checked. All of these, and I like to have continuous tone, so it's constantly going. It's not on, off, on, off. It's always going when the siren goes off. But well, let's say you, you don't even have the alarm, and when your car locks, you just want it, the lights to light up like you have an alarm. You can just click Alarm, Warning Lights. I mean, actually, you can go under Arming. You can go Acknowledgement. You can do Optical, which means you will see it. And you can do Acoustic if you have the alarm. But if you check both of these when you arm it, and both of these, you will actually have the lights when the... Um, you have lights when you unlock and lock the car, even if you don't have an alarm. So you can just write that, which I didn't write anything new, but I have that. So that's all set. So after that, your car should be all coded so you can exit the program. And then you can exit this. And I will be back showing you how to actually roll your windows up and down, showing you that it does actually work. So I'll be right back with that. So... The final part is actually testing if it works. So right now, have the car unlocked. So the car's unlocked. And if you hold down the BMW, you can see my windows are rolled down, sunroof is open, back windows open, 
it's actually shut, but if you hold down the lock button, locks the car, I'm still holding it. And if you notice the window's going up and the sunroof is shutting. And I noticed I let go of it. Holding it and the sunroof starts to shut. So you, if you let go halfway through it, it will shut and that's exactly what I did, but you have to hold it continuously through the whole time. And then obviously what you probably already knew you could do is hold the unlock button and windows roll down and stuff like that. But you can also see when I lock it, I'll show you, you can see when I unlock it, it flashes. And when I lock it, it flashes. So that's part of the coding. And obviously you can hear it arm and unarm and that's through the alarm. But um, thank you so much for requesting this video. I'm glad that you guys did. If you have any other requests on anything BMW, E46 related or just general BMW, whether it be coding, how-to, informative, anything, let me know and I will make a video on it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying very hard to make videos for you guys.